got really windy all of a sudden. I woke up and I went, um, when I looked at the temperature, so I let the dogs out, it was 62 here and that is amazing for um, Florida. The other day we were at 90, so that's crazy. We're well, not in the early mornings, but yeah, it's early morning and uh, I want to do stuff, but um, sometimes just thinking of just trying to be too perfect or just setting up everything will kind of like stop me from doing more videos so i just need to just tell myself that it, it doesn't have to be that way that i think you guys like whatever videos i make hopefully and i don't have to put pressure on myself like that look squirrel i never get squirrels in here oh there it goes so um yeah, I'm going to do something today. I want to do stuff. There's so many ideas that I have um, that I want to do. Um, but yeah, sometimes um, it's hard to work freely when you're thinking about, oh, I got to set up the camera and I got to have a good angle and did it, all this stuff. So um, let me know if you guys like, even though like if I don't show you the whole process of me doing stuff, if you guys like my videos of when I do like, okay guys, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do and then I'll stop recording, go do it, and then show you what it looks like. Do you guys like that as well? Because I mean, some of it's pretty, you know, like basic. I'm just gonna clean or just put soil in here and then show you guys. I don't know, I just wanna make sure that you guys are enjoying um, what I'm doing. Um, I don't know if you guys saw my Instagram. We got solar light. Let me talk to you about the light situation. So, we used to have these lights there are they are for outdoors and their they, their garden they used to have this um balls these wooden weaved balls on them oh here they go see this is what it used to have these then they all fell so then we ordered a bunch of ping pong balls and we shoved them in the lights and a lot of them fell then the lights stopped working so we were like, okay, we have to get new lights. So um, the lights stopped working. And thankfully, for some reason, I decided to unplug them um, from the outlet. So then um, we were outside one day and all of a sudden the lights fell into the pool. So I was like, wow, can you imagine if we were in the pool and those lights were connected? We or yeah whoever was in the pool would probably die so that was crazy so that gave us the thought of um solar lights so these are solar lights we got three strands and that came out a total to a hundred dollars they so far been working really well that's what we did with the lights the other day and then here i started messing with this plant it had a lot of overgrown um plants um, i just cut this is what I'm discarding. And then I have a bunch of cuttings here. So I need to do something with that. I, I enjoyed cutting. I felt like I was harvesting. It felt so good. So I was like, oh, I like that. I wonder if I can go cut some more stuff. But I don't know, I have to see. Uh, we do have a full week supposedly of no rain. We did get um, another storm again. Um, yesterday it rained all day and we got um, super strong winds, but it was for a short period of time and nothing fell, thankfully. Um, I just took precaution. What I did is I just took precaution and moved. I hung this on the chair. I just hung it because this chair is pretty heavy and then it has the pot. So that's what I did just to be safe. Um, that's what I did. Look at the morning sun hitting these beauties. Oh, I love it. I just want to sit here and stare at it in this weather too. Like how could you not, right? So um, that. My ruby necklace um, is looking pretty sad. Like I said at the, um, in my last video, it's been in and out of the house. I hope it perks up. I don't know what it's going to take for it to perk up. Oh, so I decided to take this put it into the ground like it's supposed to be and instead of hanging a plant on it i put um 
these pearls in here and then I need to get more plants to put it there and I think it's gonna be super cute someone had done it but they didn't know they commented for me to do that and I was like oh I already did it <laughs> so yeah I had thought about it many times but I just kept putting it off because I just like the idea of a bunch of hanging plants but I don't know it's more risky having a bunch of hanging plants here especially with the wind look at how how well let me get out the sun how well my um bird bath is doing it's super happy after i revamped it these stayed in place i didn't deserve much i didn't i just um added i guess i took some soil out added new soil so i didn't disturb these look these changed in color already so they're changing color again they're super happy and these are growing happily as well i'm super happy how many times i'm gonna say that huh and then look at this i didn't touch the elephant bush either but look at this beast and then look at my um this is it's very black prints that i propagated and look how well it's doing look, look. got this one and these two right here that's how they grew together so that's how i planted it i love the colors let's see if i can get away like not block the sun so you guys can see the color here we go okay so i'm going to talk to you guys about something as you guys enjoy the view <laughs> so i last night i decided i say hey you know what i should do i should watch one of my first videos and i was and i was laughing just because of the things that i was saying or just you know we i can laugh at myself but i recommend you guys go watch that video i'm gonna link it right here so you guys can see it and then give me your feedback on it like tell me what you think how far i've come or how i was just tell me I'm, I'm curious to know what you guys think about um that first video of succulents because i used to do videos way back then about other things but i'm interested in seeing what you guys think um when you guys see that video so you know what i think i want to move this look at this cute guy i painted him I restored him and he is so super cute. He is a darling. I think I want to put him like, I don't know, right here. Yeah, right there. Look at him. I like gnomes, but um, some of them can have creepy faces. So after I painted this with acrylic paint, I sealed it with um, a matte finish um, spray paint just so that it wouldn't peel away and it's so pretty he came out really cute i have to say <laughs> and i'm not like a painter or anything like that so i'm gonna I, even though i like this here but i think it would get better sun right here look at that yeah i was just looking at the sun situation i think that would look better here this arrangement i got from home depot and I decided to leave it as is because I want to know how this does because typically I won't plant this outdoors. I'll leave it in the greenhouse. But um, we're going to see if it makes the if it makes it through the Florida rainy season. So yeah, that'll be interesting to see. This plant right here uh, is a pretty plant, but I feel like the darkness in there like that's some type of fungus but it's been like that for a while so i'm not sure what is this oh that fell off one of these up here so yeah so oh yeah so before i get distracted look at that see i got somewhere to put my coffee i love coffee now every time i love coffee but i can't not think of cactus caffeine if i show coffee in my video I just want to say cheers to um to her so what was that yeah so yeah go check out that video and tell me what you think um if you didn't see where did i put it oh, i put it i think in the greenhouse so look at how dark it is over here there um sun will be over here it is it's just the trees it's like very shaded right now 
but the sun normally will hit over here like around nine o'clock 10 there'll be like a nice good amount of sun over here and then in the afternoon so that's why i have my shake off but i came over here looking for what i bought at the dollar tree look someone threw that out and my sister-in-law picked it up for me and i can i like big trays like this so that i can move plants like inside my house like if i'm gonna bring some plants inside for whatever reason i just use that to move it around but anyways what i wanted to show you guys to keep an eye out for is these beautiful pots from the dollar tree i don't know about you guys but here and i hope that they are you know because we want to get back to normal over here in florida in at least palm beach county they are starting to open up stuff um so there's different stuff that i was reading that's opening up even restaurants but they're only allowing a certain amount of people to sit and eat so yeah that's pretty cool that's like you know giving us a sense that we're going back to normal so that's exciting oh look at these they're starting to have little babies they're starting to push out the little babies i was wondering when that was going to happen i wonder if this one is doing it too because this one is big yes look at you yes i can't wait look at you i can't wait so that they're packed and full of take a picture anyway so i have goals um i want to do something with this but at the same time i don't know if i can fill those up yet with anything because my goal is to make these pretty they don't look pretty at all um they they just look there they're not doing anything i mean this one i'm not gonna do anything to this one because obviously i beheaded it um because i want it to stay the thickness that it's supposed to it thinned out very um small because it's not getting enough sun so i moved it over here it just does get up to do some but i think i might move this again to help it grow um to an area where it gets all day sun like morning and afternoon i think i'm gonna do that for that until it gets bigger it's supposed to look like that see and you can see where wasn't getting a lot of sun then got sun and here it's thinned out a little bit it's getting sun but probably not like a lot of hours of sun but it's still going to stay like this. It's not going to get any smaller than this because this side does get a lot of sun. So, yeah, I wanted to say that. What else can I tell you guys? Um, hmm. I think that's it. So, I want to make these pretty. I need to figure out how. I need to look through the garden or my table to see what I have that I can place in there that's going to do well on this side. So, um, like I said, this area gets afternoon sun. Uh, plants that I can think of that are going to do well over here with afternoon sun would be... So, currently all these are getting all kinds of sun, right? But we're in spring, so that's why I haven't had to move anything yet. But I know eventually in the summertime, I might need to move um, these unless, unless um, there won't be afternoon sun here during that time you know because things change so that's what i'm watching for but um yeah i need to see what i can i put in there that i think is going to be nice and it's going to grow nice uh i do or i might propagate some stuff as well and place it in there not sure this i'm mad at this plant i am i didn't do nothing to it and it's just like this dying non-stop I didn't do anything to it. All I did was take it from a pot and place it into a terracotta pot. I didn't even disturb the roots. And it's just behaving this way. You touch the leaf and it just falls. It's the only plant I ever had a problem with. Like when I um, just like, I just, I, first, I just bought it not so long ago from Home Depot. And it just, it's my second one. The first one did the same thing. I took it back to Home Depot and exchanged it for another one and it's just doing the same thing and when it was in home depot it looked good so i don't know what's going on with it i cannot explain it look this is the one that i cut all up i trimmed it all up as look look at these babies growing so beautifully 
on here. That's really nice. I can't wait till they grow, snip them off. It might grow some more, don't know, but yeah. So that's my goal and I'll, I'll, um, I'll show you my progress of what I'm doing. I just need to gather my thoughts and decide what I'm going to do for this. And I might spread them out more. I don't know. I feel like it just, I don't know. It doesn't look good, but yeah, I have no idea. And let's see, my aeoniums, they're here. I don't know. Look, it keeps dropping leaves for no reason. I'm not doing anything to it. And it's just dropping leaves. Why? Can anyone explain to me why? Look, you just touch it. Look. Look. I don't know what to do. I'm not taking it back to Home Depot because I got a discount on it. But still, I just want to know, does anyone know what's wrong with it? I don't know. Is it shocked from, is it having a fit because I, I just transplanted it? Is it that? I would like to know. Look at that. You just tap them and they come right off. The leaves just come right off. So I'm just trying to figure it out. I have no idea what to do with this plant. So if you guys can tell me, I would appreciate it. I might end up using these cuttings for one of those as well because they do well in the sun. I don't know. I'm going to figure that out and then tell you guys what I do. Oh, you know what? Jades do well in the sun as well too. They do. I have some shades. So I need to figure that out. Okay, guys. I'll give... Look, 19 minutes of nothing. <laughs> I'll get back okay, to you guys. So, um, I guess this video is going to be a little bit about everything. I'm going to be collecting some cuttings here and there. Um, I don't know how much cuttings I'm going to collect. But I'm going to collect some for uh, future projects, I guess, that I'll share with you guys. But first, let me show you this beauty here. Look at how pretty she is. Look at her. She's like a work of art on her own. Okay. Let's go get some cutting. Let's see. So these are my palms. And I have had to treat um, mini bugs here and there on the palms. On the plants that are on here. But uh, I'll tell you my first cut that I just made then i decided to record i cut this one because you can't see it it's back here oh wait you're not focus okay i cut this one because it's back here and you really can't see it and then i threw the leaves to propagate right there where it is um i won't cut these because i like how they drape down i think they're really pretty so i'm gonna leave that right there look at this plant right here it's been here for a while and you can see i treated it with neem oil and stained it but Anyways, I don't know what's going on in the middle there. It has like no head really. And I've never inspected to see if it has really, I just treated it. And I'm just leaving it there because it's still alive. So whatever. here is what are um, my agaves. Um, so yeah, oh, this one's a fighter. I had to treat several times for melees, but look, they're pushing through making it through so i would only probably take from what you can't see in the back and look i threw leaves in there to propagate and they're already um are showing some growth already i don't think i'm gonna take any from that side it just doesn't look too full to me for that side i'm gonna leave that one alone Look who's sunbathing because it's a cool morning. Maxi loves the sun. I don't know if I'm going to end up taking from here as well. Only because um, the bench is here and you sit and you can see right here. I need to add a plant in here. I've been thinking since I find like the 298 plants and they're very inexpensive. I've been thinking of putting them in here and if they die while well, they die and if they make it through they make it through the reason i'm saying if they die is because 
Most of the times, the ones that I find for $2.98 are the um, Echeveria Pro Lumberg. And like I said, they're very finicky here in Florida. They're finicky and, um, you know, it's spring. So I don't know if it's going to have enough time to root. Look at that. What kind of bug is that? Where are you? Look at that. What is that? Oh, it's flying. Whatever. Um, I don't know if I would have enough time to root. But I would just try to place it gently on top of there and not bury the roots too much to see what happens. But anyways, I like this basket. It has like... The reason I bought it was to clean rocks from the Dollar Tree because the rocks would stay and the soil would just go right through. But I like carrying it around to collect cutting. Mm, don't mind the mess here. The wind was strong yesterday and blew, up, blew out anything that I had on the table. Look at this um, bougainvillea. Um, she's trying. I. I'm trying to get her to come back. Look at this mushroom. <laughs> I don't know. I might, um, I don't know anything about bougainvilleas. So I have some miracle Grow fertilizer and I might do that. All I know is I do trim it. And when I trimmed all the dead looking pieces of wood, new flowers came. So I don't know. I feel like that triggers it. So we'll see about that. Not that these, these are not really strong for this kind of plant. Wait, does it have a leaf? Oh, I almost cut that. Never mind. Okay, I'm gonna leave that alone. This one has a lot. It does have a lot. So if I just take a few, it won't be too noticeable. See, there's one growing right there. So I would just cut probably right next to it. And that one will grow. And then I take the leaves and leave them right here. They're on top of rock and I feel like they'll propagate much easier. Oh, there was already a baby growing right there on that stem. See all these that are growing here already? Just throw them there and they'll grow. I gotta watch for when they get bigger. When the leaves are done, I can put them in soil. I mean, sometimes they'll find their own way to the root, so. Ooh, right here in the sun, Maxi feels hot, but not in the shade. In the shade, it feels pretty cool. Maybe I'll take one more from right here. There we go. And then I'm just gonna drop some leaves. I need some for my other pot. Okay, let's go check out what we have going on over here. These I've had to treat as well for mealybugs. You see that really shiny one? The reason it's so shiny is because I had put um, neem oil on it and it stayed like that. It was mixed with water, but um, I guess, you know, that's the time that I didn't mix it too well. So yeah, look at them. They're they're really happy even though they were attacked by millies. These are strong plants. These are really, really good plants for beginners. The California Sunset and the Ghost Plant to me are one of the best plants that you can start with and you'll be happy. Look, look at all these babies. Look, they don't have um, leaves anymore. They dried up. So look at that. I need to propagate those. Wow, so many of them have grown. Yep, I need to collect those. Because I don't know if, um, I don't know if they'll continue to be able to grow on the rock. If the roots can make it through the rock, they would, but I don't know. And this one's, I can't take nothing from this one. This is also recovered from mealybug attack. There's a lot of ants in here, though. They made their home in this pot. Um, so yeah, but I mean, they're pushing through. Let me get out the sun so you guys can see. Look at how red. California Sunset is such a beautiful plant to work with. You can use it as cuttings, so they look like little plants when you cut them and use them in arrangements. Or you can just, yeah, let them drape out. They look really pretty. 
The one in the pink pot that I just showed you before I started heading over here to cut plants, that is the same one. It's just, it's not as stressed as this one. So yeah. That one doesn't have much. Again, attacked by Millie's. This one is growing really well. You can see the difference. This one gets a lot of shade. So you see there's a lot of green. That's a California sunset as well. Out of these two, between um, the California sunset and this um, golden, it's a golden type sedum. This is not the same as this one they're not the same this is um firestorm and this is i think golden sedum something but between this one and this one um in like a strong plant i would say this one so yeah so i don't think i'm gonna cut anything uh, from uh, over here as well mm. I don't think so I think I'm going to leave it alone there's a lot of things okay I think that's it for cuttings guys okay, so here are all the plants that I've collected for my projects that I'm going to be doing videos for you guys together obviously when I put them in the uh, arrangements that I'm gonna put um, obviously I propagated this myself very easy um, you want to water probably maybe every three days when you're propagating this you just cut the little heads place them in, in the soil um, and then you just water so I did this one um, was from the big euphorbia arrangement i don't know if this is like a california sunset that has been um just in lots of shade i'm not sure and then not getting a lot of water but it did rain so i'm going to use these in the arrangements i think they would do well so yeah i have a these are all propagation. This one I won't use. This one will go somewhere else because this is a purple delight and then this is the ghosty right here, um, the gray one. Uh, or, I don't know, now people are telling me that there are just, maybe they're graphical petalums too. I'm not sure. Whatever they are, they're beautiful, right? So I need to take these out of here in order for them to grow bigger. Um, I don't think they'll be able to grow um, bigger here, like um, the original plant. So, yeah, they get big. You guys have seen this one. I'll show you over here. In the front yard, I have an even better looking one. I'll post a picture for you guys to see. These I tortured by mistake with neem oil, but they're growing out of it. Actually, the rain, I feel like, has been helping out a lot. You can see that there are plenty nice coming back, so we'll see. Anyways, guys, let me um, decide what I'm going to start with and then show you guys. This is going to be a super long video, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do. But look, look at this. Look at this beauty. I just can't stop. Today's such a beautiful day. Like, this is so nice. The weather is not hot. So I'm just, like, taking pictures nonstop and just looking at the beautifulness. Anyways, let me get to it guys i did it so let me tell you today was an amazing morning uh it was in the 60s but i got distracted because the day was so amazing taking pictures of my plants that um i got carried away and when i went to do this project it started getting hot so i am super super hot now and just dying to go inside and take a shower and i don't know i wanted to do more stuff but i'm just too hot now but um, look at the, it just, a light just turned in my head, guys. It just turned in my head. I was trying to figure out what am I gonna do? Like how am I gonna set this up to look good there? And then I'm, I, so I separated the two big pots like this and I'm looking, I'm like, hey, I wonder, cause I had this big piece of wood and ta-da, I made a bench. I'm like, oh, 
that is amazing for some reason you pick up plants from the ground and they just look so much better um give me a quick second because i here let me get this brush i um get to clean this here see things bother me <laughs> so i'll clean it up there we go that looks better i did um take a that had some like mold growing on it pots do that don't ask me why i don't know had some mold so i just take a, a, a sponge that i leave out here and i clean it out but let me tell you i am so impressed like this looks so much better and i love it i'm so glad that i did it um these plants um have been exposed to sun before like uh many of them have been growing right on this table that gets nothing but afternoon sun currently i am still debating whether i need to move there or not before summer i'm not sure because i have all kinds of plants over there but here i do know that i have some succulents i've already used in the past that do get afternoon sun this just started getting sun around i want to say 1 30 so that is some harsh sun but um the trees are used to it uh, the firestorm, the sedum firestorm, I think will do fine. And these calicoids and these ghost plants. Look at how cute that looks. I love that. I'm excited about it. If it gets tall, I snip it and push it back down. That's what I do with these a lot with those calicoids because I like them short. I think they look so cute, short and all together. So I'll just do that. Here, it was just simple, a little bit of uh, firestorm same thing as here so this is a pen pencil cactus um that will not get yellow or red it just stays green or maybe just a lighter green i believe this piece is a sticks on fire and then that is just um, some sedum firestorm and then cactus and then i believe that that is mixed with um Cetaria sorrento and alpen glow i think that's what it looks like to me when i see them and then i'm not sure the dark green that's the plant that i removed from the big plant that had the euphorbia because it's green but i do know that california sunset when it's in the shade it can get green so i'm thinking that that might be california sunset and then there's just some um, golden sedum i think and then another pencil tree and that's it guys how cute now it looks over here oh and i got an idea i have an idea uh, obviously with plants that can handle afternoon sun and probably established because i can't just take i don't know a plant that's never been exposed to afternoon sun and just throw it on that fence but let me show you my idea how cute are those pots up there hmm they are so stinking cute and Oh my gosh, if this was a bright lit area and it had no sun, I would totally put trailing plants in there that, um, yeah, but I can't because obviously this is an area that's too much sun and it would just cook them because they are very delicate. The tr a lot of the trailing plants, succulents are, are delicate, but look at those, how cute, and that's why I want more. They look so cute. I can't wait. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for always supporting my channel and spending time with me. I appreciate you guys. God bless and don't forget to like. It's important. Like and subscribe guys. You guys have a blessed day.